hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel happy new year guys because this is definitely my first video of this year the other video that i posted before this one was a video from last year i had just forgotten to post it that's why it came up this year but how have you been how has your year started have you already planned your resolutions or write down your resolutions or a vision board and how is the year taking you for me i didn't have any resolutions but this week i thought why not love me more um and uh, do the most for myself and not for other people because i've realized i'm doing the most for other people and those and these people just take me for granted and i don't want that this year this year is me loving me me having fun with me me going dates with me me doing the most for me because me deserves more 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 than i ever give so yeah so let's get to this video i have a couple of so many videos that um i've never like done a video to let you know who really is wawasi and today is that day where i answer questions and you get to know me so i'll be reading my questions on my laptop so that's how i'll be looking down so if you find me looking down i'm not shy i'm not a shy person it's just that i have to read on my laptop you know <laughs> so the first question is what are your hobbies my hobbies i love dancing if you follow me on tiktok you already know that i love dancing a lot i love traveling and i love fashion i love playing around with clothes do you collect anything yes i collect outfits anywhere i go if i go visit my dad i never get out of there without his shirts <laughs> if i visit my mom i never get out there without an outfit my sister anyone anyone so if you invite me just know i'm gonna collect some outfits out of yours so. yeah what are you passionate about I'm passionate about making content, yo. Because if I tell you I started YouTube since 20, 2017 or 2014, yo, I, yeah, I've struggled. I've struggled. But it's because it's something that I love doing. I've never given up to it. So I'm passionate about making content, yeah. Making videos, dancing, and doing all that. That's something I will never get tired of it. Even if people don't watch what I do, I will never feel like i don't need to do this nobody want to see what i do no i'll never i'll never because this is what i love doing uh what is your most prized possession my most prized possession i have a camera i have a camera and that camera cost me around 60k yeah and i don't know i i don't use it that's the funny thing i don't use it because my battery has an issue it's not charging so i'm looking for a charger but yeah that's the, my most Price possession yeah what is the greatest accomplishment accomplishment of your life what is the greatest accomplishment of your life uh my greatest there are so many uh, one being chosen as a volunteer from kenya to undp to write an article uh, about environment and mining i would say that's my greatest accomplishment because I didn't know okay when I was sent that to apply I was like uh it's not gonna happen I didn't believe in myself anyway to be honest I didn't believe in myself before I like I applied for it but then when I got it I got in and then the fact that they still use my tagline the one that I used when they asked me how do you feel about everything they still use it till today and I get people till today asking me about the UNDP because they've seen me there it's just it melts my heart what is on your bucket list my bucket list has i uh, traveling to bali because i love bali so much i've seen it on tv and pictures and yo i want to be there i want to go there i want to go there that um i want to skin deep yes ocean it's not a swimming for bali in an ocean i want to skin deep in an ocean i want to be like feel free i don't care what the world say i just want to skin deep no. <laughs> That's in my bucket list. Um, that's in my bucket list. I want to shut my ass on a yacht in Dubai because I've suffered for 19 years, y'all. For 19, more than 19 years, bro. I've suffered. I've suffered. It's time for me to shine, yo. And what else? What else do I want? I want to, my bucket list, I want to shop on the most expensive designer shops in the world yeah i want to be able to do that that's in my bucket list and i know i'm gonna chase this bag until this bag gets to me so watch out watch out for me y'all watch out for me um what is your favorite recent memory favorite recent memory do i have a memory recent memory um okay it's my favorite 
I won't tell you deep about it because it involves people and I don't think it was me opening up to my mom and how I felt. Okay, I, me and my mom have been close. I will tell her anything. She will tell me anything about her life. And I will tell her anything that is happening in my life. Anything. When I mean anything, I mean anything. And there was this time I opened up in something I felt it was embarrassing. And it really hurt me. And then she gave me a study I didn't know that happened when I was a baby. And it was my favorite, my favorite memory. I think... The, the memory wasn't good but the fact that she told me i hold that in my heart like thank you thank you for telling me that i feel better and thank you for choosing me to tell me that yeah it felt it felt so good it felt so good uh what is your best childhood memory my best childhood memory okay hey my best childhood memory will be christmas holidays my dad ah if you're on my instagram you already know the story my dad used to buy us Christmas clothes. And I tell you, my dad used to know my size. I don't know how he did, but he did. He used to buy me amazing, amazing outfit. I think where I got my fashion sense and want to style and do all that is because of that. He used to buy me these amazing outfits that I would wear and I would go back to my cousin. Okay, look at what I got. There are times he used to dress me like a tomboy. And there are times he decides, I want this lady to shine in a, on her bunda. <laughs> Because <laughs> those, those outfits used to like, uh, I tell you, and people would ask me, oh, where did you get the outfit? I'm like, ah, oh, ask my dad, ask my dad. He is the man of the day and of the hour. He's the one who got me this. So ask him. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday would be, okay, so my favorite holiday was Christmas, but then things changed. I started hating Christmas because of the things that happened on that day but I want to bring that spirit back because I want to forget whatever hurtful happened on Christmas that made me hate Christmas and just leave it it's my favorite holiday no matter what I'm going to bring back my Christmas spirit again because I love Christmas mm. who knows you best who knows me best I would say my mom my mom knows me best because with her I don't have to lie with her. I don't have to to come a certain way for her to accept me. With her, with her, I tell her everything, and I don't feel embarrassed on talking about these things. With her, I don't feel judged. With her, I just wanna open up. So yeah, my mom knows me best. What family member are you closest to? My mom and my sister. The sister, my sister, who I follow, we are very close. Yeah, very close. Um. And my cousin, how do I forget that? And my cousin too. Yeah, we used to be so close and talk all the time, but I guess things changed. Uh, since COVID, uh, we haven't been that close, that, that close, like we used to, but we used to be so close. Um, what skills would you most like to learn? Skill that I would want to learn. Mm, I would want to learn to code. I would love to learn how to code, really. I find it mind-blowing the, the languages you know the languages that i can't understand because i didn't study that yeah the python or whatever i really i really want to learn coding um where is the coolest place you've traveled where is the coolest place i've traveled in kenya i would say um well okay diani where we swam with the dolphins yes that Kisumu. I loved Kisumu. I don't know about you, but I found Kisumu really nice. Really nice. They're like Victoria. They're pe they, like going up to the hills and all that. I would say I loved Kisumu. Kisumu and Diani would be my coolest place I've ever traveled. Uh, what does your average weekend look like? My average weekend right now, since I work like all the time, I would say my average busy and tiresome because I come home so tired. I don't like weekends these days because most weekends I'm working. So yeah. Tell me about your longest running friendship with someone. Longest running friendship. Okay, ooh, ooh, I remember. So I'm in a friendship with this amazing woman called Nancy like me. And how we met. Uh, so I used to live in South B. And she used to work close to where I used to live. And this one day, I went to buy stuff there. And then we talked. And she asked me, so what's your name? I told her, I'm Nancy. She's like, oh, I'm Nancy too. And she was like, oh, you know what? I could even come over. We 
we talk we, we we leave you don't have friends around here i live here too and i was like sure and that's how we became friends i can't even explain how right now we we like we don't talk for a while then we talk but let me tell you i would die for that young woman because i love her so much if, if you're watching this nancy i love you so much i might not show it all the time or i might not be there like in every your daily daily basis but just know i love you so much and i'll die for you girl i'll die for you because you are amazing and the sweetest person in this world and the the most the, the only person the only friend i've ever had that is not judgmental and will just take me for who i am and will just sit there and wait for me to just come back and tell you you know what i'm a mess so thank you for being that and continue being that woman and i love you that makes you unique i'm the realest person you ever met so that's what that's what make me unique. I would say that why am I saying that? It's because there are people. Okay, when I came out to say that I I am a shop attendant, there are people who came to me and said saying, why would you say that? You know that's so embarrassing and all that. And I'm like, that's not embarrassing to me because I know what I do is what makes food on my table. I do that because I want to make money for me. I don't want to ask people to give me money. So if me being the realist like that is embarrassing, then f off f off my dear f off because i love i am me what makes me unique again i don't give an eighth about what people say people talk about me let me tell you uh, <laughs> let me tell you everything that you think you know about me is what i want you to know about me there is some truth and there is there is some truth in it but you will never know the exact story about me so you go there talking about me judging me and all that and there will be someone who knows the real loss of me and he or she will be shocked when you talk about those things because I give you what you want to hear. If you come to me and say, I heard so, you, you date five men. I'm going to be, yeah, I do. Yeah, I will give you what you want to hear. Honestly. Mm, who is your hero? Who is my hero? My hero. My hero will be my mom. I know I've mentioned my mom so much, but yeah, she'll be my hero. In what way? She's the most deserving woman i know that was given less and she endured because of us before before like we used not to have like so good relationship with my mom and she never like pushed me away we might have an argument and somebody talks shit about me out there and she'll stand for me she's my hero she's definitely my hero my dad used to be my hero he, he used to do the same thing. He would fight for me. He would stand by me. He would be there and he would tell people how he is proud of me. But then it came a point where he, he doesn't. He like It's like he doesn't care anymore. And that's it. And that's when I realized I, have, I had a hero all this time and I didn't see, which is my mom. So yeah, my mom would always be my hero. My hero. Who is the smartest person you've ever met? Who is the smart? Ah, oh, my nephew. <laughs> that boy is the smartest thing i've ever met he is just mind-blowing i think mean, this young young short boy <laughs> can tell you things and just leave you amazed he's the smartest smartest uh what is one thing that instantly makes your day better music music just changes everything if i'm sad and i listen to music boom i'm back to a to a good word to a cheerful day um when did you first feel like an adult the day my parents stopped buying me christmas outfits <laughs> that was the day i was like whoa it's up it's about to go down it's about to go down <laughs> that was the day i knew hey nikubad nikubad uh what is the most important decision you've ever made so far is me choosing to love me the most and do the most for myself and not expect other people to do what i expect them to do because people never do i've been disappointed severely people have promised to be better to do good by me but never did so i came to realization it's only me who can do good by me it's only me who can do all that i deserve i haven't really met someone who who is doing the most for me not yet honestly mm. what aside from necessities that one thing you will not go a day without my phone is a phone necessity i'll never go a day without my phone 
I don't think a phone is a necessity. It's not. You can you can live without a phone. Yeah, it's not a necessity. Mm -hmm. What do you enjoy spending money on? Um, good things. Good things. Either food, either clothes, either it's interior stuff. As long as it's a good thing, I'm in. What is something that always makes you smile? <laughs> I make myself smile i smile all the time if you find me i'm not smiling just know i'm having a very bad day and i've struggled to make it a better day and it has refused and that's it that's only the only time you'll find me like um yeah um uh, what are you most thankful for i'm thankful for my health for the good health i thank i'm thankful for um good food that i always have i thank i'm thankful for my parents my siblings uh the person i love and everyone else um, i'm just thankful to be here and you guys i'm also thankful for you for watching mm, what are you most looking forward to i'm most looking forward to to have cute babies yes because i want to have babies i want to be a mother to some amazing children and instill what i feel like i didn't get and give what i felt i feel like i didn't get too what is the greatest challenge or struggle you have ever faced? Having anxiety. That's the most challenging and greatest struggle I've ever had to go through. Um, waking up and you feel like you're not able to even do shit. Sorry, to do anything. And struggling to be just you. It's just the biggest struggle. And I don't want it. This year we're not having such struggles. We're working on it. What is the biggest risk you've ever took? Biggest risk I've ever took was leaving my home, Mombasa, coming to Nairobi to just make a life for myself. That was the, I would say the major, because I didn't even know where to start. Because yes, I have family, but I couldn't even go to them for help because you know family. So yeah, I was all alone, all alone and it has been a where i thank god i thank god tell us an embarrassing story we i was in primary school and so we used to run cross countries so that people can be chosen for the long races so we then i was on my ps so at that time we're not using the pads we're using cotton wool so like running i didn't i, I didn't like wear a biker because my my the knee we were using it was a bit short so while i was running my pad fell and behind there were some guys and they came like circled the the, the pad and they're like who was this what kind of a dirty person is this and i'm like lord <laughs> what are these and i left I went home straight. I didn't even wait for the school. And this not even no one knows. Even my mom, if he, she's going to watch this video, she's going to be shocked that she doesn't even know this story. It happened. It happened. And I've never felt so embarrassed like that. Um, tell me your life story in exact one sentence. Amazing, cheerful, grateful. What is the strangest coincidence that ever happened to you? Coincidence. Having a best friend with the same name as mine. Do you have kids? I don't have kids. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Taita Taveta County for like the most part of my life. Then we, we located to Mombasa, then now I'm in Nairobi. Answer that. What do you think most impress your five year old self, your 15 year old? What would you think most impress your five year old, your 15 year old? That I've never given up. That I've never given up at any point. So never, never give up. What kind of eldest person do you hope to be? Um, the not not judgmental kind of person and always ready to hear out maybe if it's my kid or my sister's kids or anyone's kid i'm ready to hear them out before i judge them or beat them up or say any hurtful word about them i get to hear their stories first not always have one side of the coin but have all both before i i judge yeah um What movie do you wish you could watch again for the first time? I don't know what's the name of the movie. I can't remember the movie's name. But it was about this crippled guy. Um, no, he wasn't crippled. He was he was a known guy. Got into an accident, became crippled. And then he, the parents looked for a maid to take care of the, the guy. And at first the guy was, was trying so hard to make this lady go away. But they ended up falling in love. I love it. I would 
what is your favorite song right now? My favorite song would be, um, it's on, I, I wouldn't say even a song. I'll take the whole album of Caesar. Caesar or Season. SZL. Yeah, Caesar. Her latest album, and like her entire album is just, it's SOS. If I'm not wrong, it's called SOS. If I'm not wrong, hey, that, that album is just top notch. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite, like, literally these days I don't have a favorite color. I don't. But I love black more. It's a color. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal would be giraffe. If you know me, you know how much I love giraffe. And I have so many pictures of the giraffe because, hey, I love them. Do you have brothers and, or sisters? Yes, I have one brother and two sisters. How old are you? I'm 27 years old. When is your birthday? 22nd May 1995. What is your favorite food? Anything to do with rice is my favorite food. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of death. I think everyone is afraid of that. It's something we can't, uh, it's inevitable, it's inevitable, but I'm scared. I'm scared of losing pe the people that I love so much. I think that's all that we have today. <laughs> Those were so many questions. But I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and give me those thumbs up. And you are allowed to comment and share this video with all your friends. So bye-bye for now. Till next time, happy new year and be good.